Tonight, the state of Florida has launched a new app aimed at helping students and teachers speak up about potentially dangerous situations. It comes on the same day that there was another phony threat made against the South Florida school. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Davie, where several schools had to go on lockdown today. Carrie. That's right, Rudy Bay. Fortunately, the threat here was unfounded. It was not credible. But that does not diminish the terror that parents felt as they arrived on the campuses here in Davie after hearing that there was a code red lockdown at numerous schools. And while Davie police try to sort that out, figure out who phoned in this threat today, the state attorney general's office announced the Fortify FL app that is designed to allow students and school community members to report suspicious activity to law enforcement. Imagine the frightening moments for parents of children at Nova High School, Nova Middle School, and several other schools in this area on Monday as word spread of a code red on campus. When they said code red, there was no drill. I panicked. I was texting my son. This father said he got a text from his daughter that sent him scurrying. The next text followed that I'm scared, so I ran down here. I drove like a madman. When these parents arrived, they waited and waited for answers. Police described the call they received. The caller only stated there was going to be a shooting. He said when. The caller said now and hung up. Police swarmed the campuses while students inside waited in fear. Um, it was quite terrifying. Eventually, police learned the threat was unfounded and not credible. Monday's threat came after last week, which was filled with threats and real violence in Broward schools. A student stabbed another with scissors at Nova High on Friday. A third grader is accused of bringing a loaded handgun to a Lauder Hill school last Tuesday, and a couple of other students were arrested last week for making threats or posting violent images online. Parents say there needs to be more conversation with kids and more oversight of what they're doing online and in the home. Well, we as a Need to take responsibility and look what our kids are doing because you know if they live in my house under my roof I need to take care of them and see what they are looking what they are saying. Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi unveiled a new app on Monday called Fortify FL. It's part of the legislation created after the Parkland shooting to give students and community members a place to anonymously report suspicious activity to law enforcement. It even got a notice from President Trump who tweeted calling it a big priority. I truly, truly believe that this will save lives. But despite those preventative measures, the situation in Davie on Monday left some parents feeling helpless. It's a scary thing and it's not a joke. Indeed, it's not a joke. Broward Schools has been saying that whether a joke or real, this is a crime, a second degree felony, and if someone is caught doing it, caught making a threat like this, they will be arrested. Now, in addition to the Fortify FL app, the Broward Sheriff's Office released a similar app just a couple of weeks ago called Safer Watch. Works very similar, allows students and parents, teachers, and staff to communicate in real time with law enforcement about threats. You can learn more about this on our website, cbsmiami.com. You can download the apps in the App Store or on the Google Play Store. Live in Davie, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.